Hey, hi everyone. Today's video is all about Power Automate. We're going to talk cloud flows, we're going to talk desktop flows, and we're going to see how we can pass data between the two. We're going to use input variables and output variables, and let's see at the end how many runs it takes to win the lottery. Let's do it. One of the first questions that you may have when you know that you're going to need cloud flows and desktop flows is where do I start? Do I start with the cloud flow? Do I start with the desktop flow? The good news is that it doesn't matter. If we start in Power Automate in the cloud, like we're going to do today, when we're going to add the desktop flow action, then we're going to be able to create a desktop flow. And that will bring us to Power Automate Desktop. And if we decide to start with the desktop flow, then when we start creating our cloud flow, we are going to be able to reference the desktop flow that we've created separately. So let's start in Power Automate in the cloud. For the purpose of this demo, the trigger that we are going to use is going to be a button. And as you can see, we have the possibility to add an input. Click on add an input and we're going to add a text input. We're going to call that player name. And instead of please enter your input, we're going to put please enter your name. And this input is going to be an input variable that we are going to pass to Power Automate Desktop. If I click on next step, this is where we would want to add our desktop flow. So I'm going to click on desktop flow and desktop flows are premium connectors. And so at this point, I'm going to be able to select the desktop flow that I've created separately, or I'm going to be able to create a new one. If I click on the drop down menu, I have a list of all the desktop flows that I currently created. And just right underneath select an item, you can see that we can create a desktop flow if we want to. And by clicking this, this is going to open Power to my desktop and we will be able to create our desktop flow. But what I'm going to do is I have Power to my desktop that's open on the side and we're going to create it separately so you can see the difference between the two. Now, don't worry too much about the connection issue. We're going to fix that when we're going to come back to Power to my in the cloud. So let's go over to Power to my desktop and let's start creating our desktop flow. You can see that on the right hand side, we have input and output variables. If we click on the plus sign, we can add an input or an output variable. So let's start with the input variable. This is the value that we are going to receive into Power Automate Desktop. So remember, we've created an input in Power Automate in the cloud, which was called player name. And we want to grab this value and use it in our desktop flow. The variable name in here would be the name that is going to be used in Power Automate Desktop. So that's the name that you would see when you are in the context of Power Automate Desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give them different names so we can see what they are in Power Automate Desktop and in Power Automate in the cloud. So the variable name, I'm going to call this PAD player name. The data type that I'm going to receive is going to be text, but you can have text number, Boolean value, custom object, a list or a data table. There is no default values because we need the user to input their name. And then we have the external name. So the external name would be the name of the variable, the way it's going to show when we are in Power Automate in the cloud. So here I'm going to put my player name. We can give it a description and we can mark a sensitive if we want the value to be hidden. Click save. And now my input variable is called PAD player name. Let's grab an action that is actually going to generate a random number. And we want a value between one and 50. We do not want to generate multiple numbers for our case. And the value that's going to be produced is random number. Click on save. Now let's create an output variable. Again, we are going to click on the plus sign and we're going to choose output. 
the variable name would be the name that we would see in Power Automate Desktop. We have the data type and then the external name. Again, the external name is the name that we are going to see when we're going to use this variable into Power Automate in the cloud. Let's call this one var out for output and random number. The data type that we want to send to Power Automate in the cloud, it's going to be a number because we want to send the random number that Power Automate Desktop is going to generate. And actually, we are going to grab this variable name. We're going to put this in the external name. And in here, I'm going to change that to PAD, like the input variable. So the variable name for Power Automate Desktop is going to have PAD as the prefix. And the external name that we should see in Power Automate in the cloud will be var out random number. Again, we can put a description and mark as sensitive if we want to, and then click save. And if you notice there, it's actually not asking us for a value. So how can we make sure that the random number that is going to be generated is actually stored in this output variable? And for this, we're going to need to set the variable. And which variable do we want to set to what? We want to set our PAD random number. Click on the X so we can see all the variables that we have. We select PAD random number. And what would be the value? Well, the value is going to be the random number. And then select and click Save. So this way, when the desktop flow is generating the number, we're saying grab this number and store it into the output variable. So this way we can reuse this variable outside of the desktop flow. Now, before we go back to Power Automate in the cloud, we want to use this input variable, this player name that we are going to receive. So let's just display a message. And the message title is going to be Hi, and then we are going to use this input variable value. Click on the X and then we have player name. And let's add just a couple more. Your number is, and then for the message to display, we're going to say random number and then our random number. We can add an icon if we want to. So it'd be information, just one button. It's okay. So we can close the display message. And then we're going to leave the rest as default. Click on save. And now our desktop flow is finished. We're generating a random number. We're grabbing this number and storing it into an output variable. And finally, we are going to display a message with the value of the input variable. Let's save this and let's go back to Power Automate in the cloud. Let's fix that connection issue. Click on the three dots and then choose the connection that you need. So in my case, it's going to be uh, my laptop connection. Let's open the drop down. And if we don't have the flow we've just created separately, let's click on the refresh button. And then at the bottom, we have the flow we've just created. We need to choose a run mode. In that case, it's going to be attended. And then you can see here the input variable that we have in Power Automate Desktop. Remember, this is the external name that I gave to my variable. And what we expect here to receive is the input from the user when we actually run this flow. And that input is the player name. We're going to save that flow. And now it's time to use the output variable from Power Automate Desktop to Power Automate in the cloud. So how do we actually use this? Let's add a condition. And the condition is going to be if the number, which is meant to be between 1 and 50, let's say, for example, it's going to be above 25. Then in that case, we're going to win the lottery. And if it's below 25, we're not going to win the lottery. So how is this output variable containing the random number showing up in Power Automate in the cloud? If we click on choose a value, I'm going to make that a bit bigger. We have our var out random number. This is the output value 
coming from Power Automate Desktop. So we're going to choose this and we're going to say is greater than or equal. We're going to put 25. And if it's greater than 25, we're going to send an email. I'm going to send it to myself. And for the body, we're going to say your number is, and then again, we're going to look for our output variable. If we don't see it in here, we can do a search. And if the number is below 25, I'm just going to grab this action and put it in the no. Copy to clipboard. Then let's go into the no action. My clipboard. And then we're simply going to change the text. Set face. And then we're done. I'm going to save the flow and we're going to run it. Let's do a test. So it's connecting to Outlook to send the email, desktop flows. We're good to go. Click on continue. This is the input that we're going to send to Power Automate Desktop. Run the flow. So the flow is running, going to Power Automate Desktop. Now we have our display message. We can see that the input variable is the title. So it passed properly and we're going to click on OK. And the cloud flow is now going to continue run successfully. So we have the email. And if we look at the email, then the number was five. And unfortunately, we did not win the lottery. So let's try to see if we can win the lottery. I'm going to run it again. And this time number is 48. And we've now received the email saying that, yes, we won the lottery this time. So this is how input and output variables work. Input variables, this is data coming into Power Automate Desktop and output variables contain values that you want to send from Power Automate Desktop to Power Automate in the cloud.